Learn English Through Stories B12. Adapted and modified by Kalwant Singh Sandhu. Contents 1. The Two Wives and the Witch. 2. Baby Camel and Mother. 3. Picture Dictionary Page. 1. The Two Wives and the Witch. There was a small village near a forest. It was surrounded by natural beauty. One side there was a beautiful lake with a sandy beach. On the other side there were high hills with a magnificent scenery. Everybody was happy in the village. People of all trades lived in the village. Carpenters, potters, launderers, goldsmiths, farmers, cloth printers, weavers, and so on. There was a religious harmony. Even though people believed in different faith or religion, they all supported each other. There was a village well where women went to fetch water. This reminds an old Punjabi song. O oh, beautiful, pitcher girl. Can you offer me to drink a sip of water? O oh, handsome, traveling boy. Drink somewhere else. There are many Persian wheels on the move. There lived a handsome boy, and his name was Jaga. He was also a popular Kabaddi player. By his parents, his marriage was arranged to a girl from a village nearby. Her name was Tiri. After they got married, she came to live with her in-laws. Nobody knew whether she was pretty or not. She came in a veil, which was about two foot long. There is an English phrase, an oxymoron. You can use it for fun. Therefore, somebody may say that Tiri was a pretty ugly girl. We cut the story short. Tiri was not beautiful. In those days, people lived in a patriarchic society. Men did not treat women equally. At present, if a person is educated and belongs to a higher class, nobody cares. Moreover, they may become a prime minister or president of a country. Because she was not pretty, her husband did not like to look at her. How did she wish that she were a beautiful girl? One day, her husband met another woman who was very pretty. This woman advised him to leave his first wife and marry her instead. Thus, he left his home, leaving his first wife behind, and married this woman. Tiri cried every day. She wondered what she had done that life was so miserable. Nothing could bring joy to her. She yearned to hear his husband's footsteps again, but knew that he had left her forever. One day she was crying by the well where she had gone to fetch water. She heard the voice of a woman. She turned around and saw a lovely woman standing before her. Why are you weeping? asked the woman. My husband has left me and gone to live with another wife, the poor wife replied. Why, did you two had a fight? asked the woman. No, he left me because I do not have a pretty face, answered the wife. The lovely woman touched the face of the wife with her hands and said, That is so bad. Nevertheless, go home, dear. Everything will be all right. I must go, too. The sad wife went back home. She thought, Why did that lovely woman touch my face? Who was she? She finished her daily chores. There hung a mirror on the wall. She went to clean it. Tire saw a beautiful face in the mirror. She thought, who is she? She went to the kitchen. She washed her eyes. She came back and looked into the mirror. It was she. Her face changed into a different complexion, a fair complexion. She looked absolutely stunning. Then she realized that the woman she had met was a witch. The witch had magically changed her appearance from the most unattractive to the most attractive. Soon, Tiri's neighbors saw her. They could not believe how beautiful she looked. They told this news to their relatives. The relatives expressed this news to their relatives. The news spread like wildfire. Her village and all the villages nearby were talking about her beauty. The villagers had a tradition of paying respect to the god of rain. 
the most beautiful woman in the area threw some rice into the lake nearby. As usual, they held a beauty contest. Beauty contest is competition to choose the most beautiful from a group of women. It was a large gathering. People gathered from nearby villages and towns. Without any doubt, Tiri won the completion. Her name was Tiri, which means a cross-eyed girl. But nobody called her by this name anymore. All the boys sang to her. Two cheese bari high mast. You are an awesome thing. You are an intoxicated thing. Soon the bad husband came to the house. He could not believe his eyes when he saw his wife. One time he did not want to look at her. Now she was becoming an apple of his eye. He said to her, Dear wife, do you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder? He wanted to sing this Punjabi song to her. Just gazing at you does not satisfy me. i rather take a sip of you. He tried to persuade her into accepting him back into her life. But she would not listen to his requests. He promised never to leave her again and said, Now, I understand that this miracle has happened only to bring me back to my senses. Even if you were your plain self, I would have wanted to come back to you. I promise that I will never make such a mistake again. Tiri at first refused to believe him. But at last she said, If you will leave the woman who is now your wife and come to live with me right away, I will take you for my husband. The man agreed and the pretty wife took him back in her house. When the other woman heard about all this, she became very angry. She had also heard about the transformation of the plain wife and how she was changed by a witch. All plain women of the village had already started to visit that well in the hope of meeting the witch some day in their lives. One girl spent all day and night at the well. Regrettably for her, the witch did not come. The woman thought to herself, I am now second best. In addition, I have lost my husband. What shall I do? I have no choice. I have to meet that witch. Therefore, the woman started going to the well. She went every day from morning until late in the evening. After a week and so, the witch arrived. When the woman saw the witch, she started crying very loudly. But the witch knew what was in her mind. In the past, the witch only helped women who were unhappy or unlucky. The witch approached the woman and said, what is the matter? Why are you crying? Has someone wronged you? I mean that they have done something evil to you. The woman said, I was living happily with my husband. We loved each other very much now. The most beautiful woman has taken my husband away. Because she is so pretty, he left me. I want my husband back. Please make me more beautiful than her. I love my husband. The witch smiles and said, Dear woman, do you know what is tit for tat? It means revenge. It means retaliation. If you throw a brick at someone, surely they will throw a big stone at you. Anyway, whoever asks me, I touch their face. Then, the witch touched the woman's face and disappeared. The woman started walking home, thinking now she would be the beautiful woman in the village. Then she started almost running. She could not wait to see her face in the mirror. Before reaching home, she stumbled and hurt her elbow. Finally, she arrived home. Before she went to the mirror, she sang this Punjabi song. I am more beautiful than fairies. No one is as pretty as I am. I am proud of my youth. Wandering, everyone is in love. With my awesome and intoxicated eyes. Overjoyed, she took a deep breath and then she looked at her mirror. But what was this? Gone was all her beauty. Was this her own face? Her nose was about a foot long, her ears were as big as a horse has, and her eyes were as big as a football. Frightened, she ran back to her mother. But not even her own mother could recognize her. In fact, whoever saw her became afraid of such a creature. When she understood how ugly she was, she refused to eat and in a few days she died. 2. Baby Camel and Mother One day the zoo is closed. 
It is a late winter morning. Late winter means the period from January to March. Actually, it is February. The day is bright. The sun is shining. The sky is blue. There is not a single cloud to be seen. It is a nice day. It is not too cold or too warm. It is a perfect day to bask in the sun. Caution. One thing you cannot trust in England is the weather. That is why they say, make hay while the sun shines. Hay is grass that is cut and dried and used as animal food. Anyway, the baby and his mother are having a chat with each other. The baby is a curious young animal. He is always thinking about something. But he is a bit shy. He does not like asking questions. But today, he cannot hold his thoughts. He says, Dear Mom, can I ask you something? Dear son, you never asked questions before. What is it? What do you want to know? Go ahead and ask, says the mother. I have been looking at other animals in the zoo. They are all different. The giraffe has a long neck, even longer than our necks. The elephant has a very long trunk. The zebra has black and white stripes. The tiger has paws with sharp and strong claws. The monkeys have long arms. We have two humps each. The other camel has only one hump, says the baby. Animals need food, water, shelter, and space to survive. Herbivores can live only where plant food is available. Carnivores can live only where they can catch their meat food. Omnivores can live in many places because they eat both plants and meat. Therefore, their needs are different. I will explain about other animals some other day. Today, let's talk only about us, the camels, says the mother. Okay, mum, why do camels have humps, asks the baby. Well, son, we are desert animals. We need the humps to save water, and we can live without water for many days. And also, we do sweat like other animals, so we lose less water. In fact, we can survive up 15 days without water, replies the mother. Oh, I see. Thank you, mum. Why are feet are padded like cushions, asks the baby. We are flat and padded so we can walk on hot sand without slipping, says the mom. Okay, mom, thank you. Why our eyelashes are so long, asks the baby. When it is windy in the desert, lots of sand is flying about. We have long eyelashes to protect us from the sand, says the mother. Thank you, mom. Just one more question. Why are we in the zoo, asks the baby. Dear son, today is a nice, quiet day. We should enjoy the sunshine. If I answer your question now, you may get really sad. I will answer it some other day, when there is typical English, horrible weather, says the mother. After some days, the weather changes from good to horrible, stormy. The sky is dark blue. The air is thick. Lightning flashes and thunder claps. The winds blow. Heavy rain falls. It is a thunderstorm. The mother and the baby are sitting in a room. The room is warm. It is very bad outside, but inside it is okay. The mother talks to her young one. She tells him why they are in the zoo. She says, why we are kept in the zoos. There are two sides to it. One is good and one is bad. It is bad. We are living unnatural life. It is boring. We do not use our brain anymore. Sometimes it's stressful. It is good. We are living in a safe environment. Like today, the weather outside is horrible and dangerous. We are safe under a shelter inside. The food is given to use. The straw is spread on the flour. It feels comfortable. Lots of children come to see us. They touch us. They draw pictures of us. They write stories about us. They write poems about us. People write Punjabi songs about us. Camel is a cheerful animal. Not like some miserable friends we know. It has a clever second trick. That keeps it on the go. When we ask, it nods and winks its eye. Points to its lumpy hump. I am a king because I have right here. My special water pump.
This is an old Punjabi song. Oh my friend, move your camel with a slower speed. My tender heart is throbbing fast. My camel does not know how to move with a slower speed. Sit by holding your heart. I have never ridden on a camel before. Look, my red scarf embroidered with flowers is going to fly away. 3. Picture Dictionary Page